Oliver Blakely by Mary Nin, illustrated by Yulia Zolotova. Hi, I'm Sarah Blakely. When I was a child, I was encouraged to fail during dinner time. While it was common for families to talk about the day day's achievements, my father did the opposite. He would ask what we failed at. My father believed that that, that was the best way for me and my brother to learn valuable lessons about life. So what did you try and fail at today? Yeah, I tried a new thing today, Dad. Instead of failure being the outcome, failure became not trying and it forced me as a young age to want to push myself so much further out of my comfort zone. The gift my father gave was was by re- redefining what failure truly meant. Growing up, I wanted to be just like my dad and and, and Atori and Antony. But when I, when I failed the entrance exam to study law, I decided on a different path. Eventually, I took a sales job that involved going from building to building, telling people about fax machines. I got used to many rejections, but some people also say yes. Would you like to buy one? No, thank you. Would you like to buy one? No. Would you like to buy one? Yes, thank you. The job was in Florida and it required me to wear pantyhose. Pantyhose. As you can imagine, some days the temperature got so high I became very, very hot. I often struggled to stay looking professional without overheating. I wanted to wear hoisier because it was required as a part of my uniform. But in in this heat and with some styles, I needed the control of pa- pan- panty house hoist without the warmth of ma- of the legs. The worst part about the panty house house was that the seam at the toe it would look silly then I wore open toe sandals so so I devised a solution to cut the toe part but then But then the pantyhouse would ride up my leg. All of this helped helped me from an idea for shaping a perial. I took this idea to the companies that made the hoistery. All the bosses were men so they didn't understand what it was like to wear their products. In the end, they weren't interested in my idea. I was disappointed at being rejected, but I knew that my idea was a good one. I decided their rejection was only a minor setback. My parents had prepared me for this moment. I would not be 
dented. Trying new things and not being afraid to fail along the way are more important than what you learn in school. I decided to research and develop the idea myself. Testing the prototypes with my family and friends, I decided on the name Spanex for my company. It took a lot of time and work and money. Finally, after two years, we a hoistily, a hoistily mill op- operator agreed to support my idea. I was so happy. Hi, I hi Sarah. I talked to my three daughters, and they really want me to explore your idea. Thank you so much. I am so grateful. I soon learned to re to. I soon learn learned the real work was produ- was producing 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 the decision makers to sell my products in their store. When I finally secured a meeting with the high-end retailer Naaman Marcus, I decided it was now or never to wow the retail buyer. I quickly changed into the pantyhoise in the real dressing room and showed her the benefits of my innovation. The retail buyer agreed to test the product as sel- at select stores. During this time, I encouraged friends and family to go buy my product as a sign of support and to increase the demand for my product. Hi, will you support me Me buying, by buying my pro- projects? Yes, I will support you, Sarah. Yes, I will. Thank you. As I, as a token of my appreciation, I will send you a check. Yes, Sarah. Okay, you can count on me. I kept working hard and eventually I got there with my products on the shelves, sales skyrocketed. The products I sold were just so popular, were so popular that I said that I sold millions of dollars in just my first year of business. Don't be imitated by what you don't know. Then that can be your greatest strength and ensure that you do things differently from everyone else. Timeline 1998. Sarah's idea is rejected by all the hoisery companies she speaks to. 1999. Sarah sells her product as as a one-woman business doing everything herself. 2000, Sarah Products Product Spanex is featured on the Oprah Winfrey Show and Sales Boom. 2012, Sarah becomes the youngest self-made billionaire in the world.